There are plenty of manhwas that has a story about leveling up and defeating monsters to get stronger. The difference between solo leveling and other manhwas lies in the process of leveling up. In this video, I will talk about the best manhwa like solo leveling you need to read right now. Solo leveling is probably one of the best manhwa stories that catches your attention when you're just starting to find out what it is. It doesn't matter if you're still in high school or an adult, solo leveling is very funny and entertaining to read. Enjoy the epicness and cool protagonists from the popular manhwa series. Before we begin, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Come on, I'm watching you do it. Do it, do it, do ah, there we go, you did it. Thanks fam. Number 10. The Great Sage This manhwa is really a hidden gem among other cultivation plots related to manhwa. It has a unique story also. This manhwa just released, like, recently. Gu Cheng was teleported to a mysterious world of cultivation and became the first young master of the Zong Young residence. To avoid his aunt's sneaky attacks, he left town and entered the Night Division, which keeps the supernatural things in order. Art style is amazing. And the story is pretty good. Manwa has like 10 chapters or more for now. Hope they will update, so give it a try. Number 9. The Book Eating Magician Theodore Miller is a student of the Magic Academy. While his life dream is to become a magician, sometimes unfortunately you will never win against those who have a talent. This is the same case. Theodore failed many times and had to repeat years simply because he had no talent for magic whatsoever. One day, however, he finds a grimoire that merges with his hand and makes Theodore feed it with magic books and magic artifacts to satisfy its hunger. Of course, otherwise Theo will be devoured instead of books, but he does not really mind it, because he finally gains something that he always lacked, the talent. And so Theo's never-ending journey to the deepest mysteries of magic begins! Overall, a pretty good read so far. Number 8. I Grow Stronger By Eating An interesting manga with interesting concept, if you're looking for something fresh, new, and unique, then this is it. The plot is nice, and you can really predict what is going to happen. Or can you? Just kidding, you can't really predict what's gonna happen next, because, you know, it will be badass. The art style could sometimes be a little more flashier, but overall, it's great to read. It's known as Pet Shop, Mr. Kim has a unique ability to absorb the skills of the creatures he eats. One day, Pet Shop is mysteriously transported to a magical world full of orcs, trolls, and monsters. A new world, new chow, and new skills. Now, Pet Shop is determined to become the most powerful creature in the world. Follow his epic climb to the top of the food chain. Number 7. Rankers Return It's pretty good. It's well drawn. It's unique and fun to read. You can expect the art to be good. I mean, the MC is a rich, rich boy who played a VR double M O R P G and hit the top of the top. Got bored, deleted his character, and joined the military. Damn, that escalated quickly. The story is the same as it always was, but in the remake, the art style got pretty, pretty, pretty different. It got a great upgrade. Expressions, the lighting, the mood, set in the manhwa itself, the MC uses prior knowledge about the game to level up fast. He is also lucky getting jackpot or high level quests. The story is light, it is good to read, that could make you laugh and have a fun time overall. Number 6. The King of Bugs To say the truth, I was waiting for some masterpiece like this song. Song An is a down and out programmer at the bottom of the social chain. His daily work consists of fixing bugs for a game called New World. However, he secretly adds his own little easter eggs in the game. Suddenly, the game somehow becomes reality. He has to rely on his understanding of the bugs in the game and the easter eggs he had set up. Can Song An successfully counterattack? Manwa has 20 plus chapters. Give it a try, yo. Number 5. Reincarnation of the Suicidal Battle God this one is a great read, it's just so interesting and entertaining to read. It is actually pretty good. The plot is original and the characters are well written. Zaphir is the last human fighting evil in the world abandoned by the gods. When he is killed in battle by Tartarus, the god of destruction, all hope for humanity seems lost. But 
Zapphire's fate is not sealed. The gods who find his battles entertaining have gifted him a second chance at life, as he is sent 10 years into the past back to when he was a slave instead of the most powerful human alive. Can Zapphire get his revenge against Tartarus and save the woman he loves, or is he doomed to repeat the past? Number 4. Your talent is mine. Your talent is mine. Another thing, it doesn't seem like he has a limit, he could honestly just copy anyone's talents. He's kind of like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat of the Manwa world, just having to go through a little pain. The young man, Ye Tian, obtains the ability to copy the talents of others, and now fights against the heavens to change his fate. He struggles to survive and protect his sister from the apocalypse of the alien beast invasion. In order to become stronger, he begins to explore the unknown world and gradually reveals the secret behind the invasion of the alien dimensions. This manhwa has little chapters for now, but it is worth reading, so give it a shot! <laughs> Number 3. Dungeon House one day, my house got connected to a dungeon. It's dangerous outside because of the monsters, but in order to survive, I have to clear the dungeon within the time limit. Kim Hyun Bok has to try and clear the dungeon by himself now that all the other explorers have died. Having awakened his powers, he starts taming monsters, with the skeletons, Chris, Kai, and Kessel, who have regained their memories. Our protagonist's life-risking adventure to clear the dungeon starts now. An actual amazing manhwa that was made amazingly. So, of course, give it a read. What can I say? Number 2. Leveling with the Gods This was amazing, it's just released recently as well. The guy became stronger, faster than anyone else, but he lost. <gasps> In the end, there was only despair for Kim Yu Won. Yep, that's his name. In his last moments, he was given another chance through the sacrifice of his comrade. His fate had not been sealed yet. Returning back to the past, he attempts to climb the tower again with his unmatched talent to fight the ancient evils that threatens to destroy the tower. I really like this manhwa and the story also. Our MC2 is totally badass and OP, so give it a try. Number 1. Solo Max Level Newbie Jin Hyuk, a gaming newtuber, was the only person who saw the ending of the game Tower of Trials. However, when the game's popularity declined, it became difficult for him to continue making a living as a gaming YouTuber. Since he already saw the ending of the game, he was about to quit playing. But that day, Tower of Trials became a reality, and Jin Hyuk, who knew about every single thing in the game, took over everything faster than anyone possibly could. I'll show you what a true pro is like. His will be a good manga for the void that solo leveling is going to leave with us. The story is different than solo leveling and is more game based. I definitely recommend, but solo leveling can never be replaced. I'm sorry, I know I'm a little biased, I'm, I'm kind of shoehorning solo leveling everywhere, but solo leveling is like number one for me, and it will always be the best in my opinion. Anyway, read this one too, it's not that bad. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make a comment below which one you've read before. Do share your experience. Don't forget to like the video. Do press the bell icon to get notified about the latest videos and news trends. Till then, take care and stay safe.